Hi, everyone. I'm Bill Mustafa from Fantasy and Frames, at Bill underscore Mustafa on Twitter. And welcome to the Fantasy in Frames Rookie Prospect Profile Series. Here we'll be taking a look at uh, some of the prospects entering the 2023 NFL Draft that we believe can has a, have a positive impact on your dynasty team or teams. Um, today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite prospects in the class, and that's Alabama Crimson Tide running back, Jamar Gibbs. But before we do, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to the Fantasy and Frames YouTube channel and visit fantasyandframes.com for all of your fantasy football needs each and every year. Okay, let's get started. Now, Jamar Gibbs, the Alabama Crimson Tide running back, one of my favourite prospects, as I said, in the class. He comes in at 5'10", about 200 pounds, one of the younger prospects as well, not quite 21. Will be by the time the NFL season rolls around, but we like that fact that, you know, that's a, a young breakout age um, and, and a young prospect coming into the NFL. We like that. Okay, let's talk about some of, some of his play strengths. This is a guy that shows elite speed on tape, one of the fastest prospects um, coming out in this class. This is a guy that, that's got legit 4-3 speed, um, and it shows on tape too. This isn't just a guy that, that can run really fast in a straight line. He, he's got unbelievable speed, unbelievable agility and burst, um, and it shows on tape. Um, plenty of examples of this. Like I said, you've only got to type Jamal Gibbs into YouTube and you will see him running away from a whole lot of guys that will be playing on Sundays. My favourite example was his 72-yard touchdown run against Arkansas for Alabama. Get yourself on YouTube, find that touchdown, and watch the man burn. Okay, another thing that I really love about Jamal Gibbs is that short area elusiveness that he possesses. Really difficult to tackle, can make you miss in a phone box kind of guy. Um, got some real wiggle to him as well. I really, really love his ability to... To not only make a, a big guy miss uh, in between the tackles, um, but also that ability that when he's in open space, when he's in the open field, we're talking about back seven NFL players. We're talking about guys that will be playing linebacker and DB in the NFL on Sundays. Puts a move on him and he's gone and they're left tackling thin air. Only have to ask Texas A&M's Antonio Johnson, a guy that a lot of draft analysts have going as a top 50 prospect in this, this class couldn't put a hand on Jamal Gibbs, tried to meet him in the hole, a little wiggle, and he's gone. Big game for the Alabama Crimson Tide running back. Uh, another thing that I really love about Jamal Gibbs, and there's, there's lots, but his vision, his ability to make more of the play than is blocked for him by his off offensive line. Uh, another thing I really love is his patience as well. You know, this is a guy that will take the ball. It, it's quite clearly a, an outside zone run. Patience, patience, patience. Sees the gap on the inside plants his foot into the floor, violently cuts back, finds the hole and goes. Big game through the middle. Um, it's, it's a great ability to have, and one that really does translate um, on, on Sundays. Look at guys like Alvin Kamara still playing in the league. Um, and Lev Bell, you know, one of my favourite guys uh, when, when he was in his prime. That patience in the backfield, you think he's missed the opportunity and then he got, he's gone. And he has the speed to hit the hole and the violence to hit the hole hard um, and pick up big games. Jamal Gibbs possesses that ability. Um, my favourite, though, my favourite thing about Jamal Gibbs is his pass-catching ability. This is a guy who led the Alabama Crimson Tide in receptions. Think about it. Alabama, they produce all these stud wide receivers, all these first-round wide receivers, and the guy that led them in receptions in 2022 is running back Jamal Gibbs. Unbelievable. Not just a guy that can run routes from the backfield, a legit route runner. You could line him up out wide, and he will cause DB's headaches. A guy that can run... Maybe not every route in the tree, but he can run a fair few of those those shorts and ins and wheel routes um, at an NFL caliber, in my opinion. Um, okay, one for the nerds, okay? 1.83 yards per route run for Jamal Gibbs in 2022 for Alabama. Now, yards per route run is an important metric that we look at. Normally for wide receivers, a high, the higher the number tends to be the better route, the, the route that makes them a more viable option in the in the passing game, a, a route that isn't just running a route for the sake of running a route for the sake of the play, but a route that, that makes them a viable option for the quarterback. Like I said, Jamar Gibbs, 1.83 yards per route run. Of running backs in the NFL that were targeted 50 or more times last season, like Jamar Gibbs was for Alabama, not one of them had a yards per route run that high. The closest guys in the NFL... Christian McCaffrey, 1.66 yards per route run. Alvin Kamara, who is my comp for Jamar Gibbs, uh, 1.65 yards per route run. And in third, DeAndre Swift, 1.64 yards per route run. Now, if you're an, uh, an NFL 
prospect at running back position coming out and we're looking at stats to, to compare you favorably, those are three guys that you want to be compared to when it comes to pass catching running backs. They are three of the best in the business um, at doing that. And, and interestingly, number four, a little bit down, 1.55 yards per route run, I believe, was Austin Eckler. So you've pretty much got the who's who of route running running backs, um, pass catching running backs in the NFL. Interestingly, that 1.83 yards per route run from Jamar Gibbs, higher than T. Higgins, Brandon Ayuk, and Mike Evans. Legit NFL wide receivers. These are guys that haul in 1,000-yard seasons. That just goes to show that Jamar Gibbs' ability to run routes and be a viable option in the passing game. Now, we all know as fantasy players that targets are more important than carries when it comes to translating to fantasy points. I present you a guy that, that is a legit route runner and will be a legit route, route runner straight out of school in the NFL level. OK, let's get on to some of the things that maybe concern me a little bit about Jamar Gibbs. Now, his size doesn't necessarily lend well to being a between-the-tackles runner. I believe he can do it um, well enough, adequately, uh, for it not to hinder his ability to get on the field at the NFL level. Um, I believe he he does it well enough and willingly enough that teams aren't going to see him on the field and say, right, this is an outside zone run, or this is a you know that he's going to be running around from the backfield. He 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 does it willingly and well enough that teams will have to respect his ability. Uh, to run between the tackles. And especially, as I said, with that ability for him to find the hole and cut back and go, teams aren't going to be able to sell out to stop him, uh, you know, running an outside zone run or or running around. Um, the one thing that might keep him off the field initially is his ability in pass pro. It's not something that he did often at Alabama. It's not something that we've got evidence of him doing well. Um, his size doesn't necessarily lend to it. It's going to be interesting how he's used in that, with that ability, if you like, or lack of ability, um, a good offensive coordinator, a good head coach might might use him more of if if they're going to blitz and they, they the quarterback reads that they know they need they need to pick up the free man, just send send Gibbs out on the route, make him the hot option, um, and let the quarterback get the ball out early. I think that's a way that Gibbs can stay on the field um, even with that lack of pass pro. Um, it's something that a lot of the running backs in this class do lack. Um, OK, let's get into Jamal Gibbs and, and his fantasy value. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of dynasty fantasy football you play. Jamal Gibbs is not getting out of the first round of, of dynasty rookie drafts. He's, he's just not. And I, I don't believe he's getting out of the first first two picks, first three picks in one QB. And I don't believe he's getting out the first five picks in, in, in Superflex and two QB leagues. Um, he's a guy that I believe ha could have first, late first round, early to mid second round NFL draft capital. We love that for a running back. Uh, it tends to mean that they're going to get a fair crack of the whip with, with high draft capital spent on them. And they also tend to end up at, on better teams, uh, rosters that are ready to, to win now, normally with better offences, that, that give him more opportunity to become a, a, a fantasy producer right out of the gates. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. I'm Bill Mustafa, at Bill underscore Mustafa on Twitter. Uh, remember to follow us on YouTube, fantasyandframes.com as well for all of your fantasy football news and notes and, and things that you need to prepare for the new season. Thanks, guys.